Welcome back to Cute Pets. In today's video, we'll be using our Cute Pet Army in order to defeat the Volcano Dungeon. Will me and my Cute Pets be able to defeat it using the power of cuteness? Leave a like if you think we can and watch to find out. All right, Cute Pets, are we ready to rumble? Rambe, you don't sound super excited. So I don't know if you guys remember, in the last episode, we actually were able to get a brand new pet and we also found the relic that will eventually allow us to go into the floating castle. Where's the floating castle? Where's the floating castle? There's the floating castle. And up there, ladies and gentlemen, there is a legendary cute pet. The professor told me that we are going to need some sort of flying pet in order to get up there. So we're going to need either a sky ray or a sorgon, which we can get by defeating the lava dungeon. So today we will be taking our entire cute pet army, including Croaky, to defeat the lava dungeon. And supposedly we should be able to fly the flying cute pet there. Before we do that, we got ourselves a brand new pet in the last episode that you guys really, really, really wanted me to name. I think there were over like a thousand comments. A lot of you guys wanted to name the Digimon pet Dig a Hole. <laughs> I have no idea why. Welcome to the team, Dig a Hole. He is extremely talented at digging holes. His face is basically like a mining drill. Let's go ahead and gather up our extreme cute pet squad in order to defeat the lava dungeon. Croaky, get your big butt off the ground. We got work to do. Hot Doog, let's go. I feel bad for not bringing Gypso in the last episode, so I guess Gypso, you can join us today. I just need to be super careful not to accidentally right click on Gypso, because if I do, we will teleport directly back to the professor. Professor. Let's make sure that I have my volcano lava dungeon key, which should allow us to get into the actual dungeon. And that's where we should find the Sorgon pet. Don't worry, everybody. I will save the day and we will get the lost legendary pet. That's my friend Jeff. He was really worried about me. I love you, Jeff. Jeff is the best. Jungle volcano. Well, let's go to the volcano. Do, 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 do. Ship. Oh my gosh, shit is amazing to watch all of my cute pets turn from cute to vicious. Actually, extremely powerful, and they do so much damage. It's a little bit scary. I hope that eventually they do not turn on me. I feed them pretty well, so I don't know why they would. If Croaky ever tried to eat me, ladies and gentlemen, I would probably need to call the FBI. There's a ton of lava here, and it looks like we have a few different volcanoes. So there's one right there. There's one right there. It looks like the volcano pretty much has flooded this entire area. The professor said that the dungeon should be close to the volcano village. So once we find that, the dungeon shouldn't be super far away. I found it! Okay, there's the village, and there is the floating castle off in the distance. It is just tempting me. It is basically just taunting me. I will conquer it one day. This seems like an awfully poor place to build a village. I don't know about you guys, but if I was living somewhere, I probably would not want to live near a volcano. And I probably also would not build a village near a volcano either. It always confuses me why these houses are empty. Like, do people live here? I'm pretty sure people live here, right? Look, there is literally a dude inside. This dude has a chimney. He also has got a big head. Stonks, baby. Baby. What's up, lady? Why are you turning awfully slowly? That was creepy. We're gonna leave. What is this place? I pet coins. Oh, well, hello, little tiny mustachio man. Uh, I love your red beard. Oh, wow. He actually is able to move his entire eyebrow together. Where we can buy a brand new pet? A snail lava. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let's get ourselves a snail lava pet. We'll go over here to the incubator and we can hatch this thing. I didn't even know it existed until five seconds ago. Right, come on. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Stay, 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 stay. This thing is super cute. Look, it has tiny little particle effects too. Those are legitimately the cutest eyes I have ever seen. I wanna, I wanna love this thing forever. Wow, it just got big. And its eyes got smaller. Its eyes were literally bigger when it was a baby. What can I do? What? It is is literally just a throne. This is amazing. This is my new favorite pet. Everybody else, I'm so sorry. I love you, but this snail literally will carry me to victory on a golden molten lava throne. I love you. Red mustache man, I would like to also buy some of your finest pet food for all of my fine cute pets. I need to make sure that they eat nutritiously and deliciously. That should be enough. Do you have any cookies in the back room? Uh, nope, nope, flip. All right, whatever, I'll be on my way. Make sure you guys also leave a like if you're enjoying this series. And also while you're down there, you might as well leave a comment with name suggestions for our snail lava pet. I'll make sure you guys get a good look at it. It has a beautiful chair and it has really tiny eyes now and it's got a fat slug body. Okay, looks like this sign says that the volcano dungeon should be over in this direction. Lava in the area, so we need to be a little bit careful. Where is Croaky? 
Croaky, Croaky, where are you, Croaky? It is so difficult to figure out where all my pets are. Okay, Croaky, you're gonna take us to victory here. Let's take the high route. I don't want my pets to accidentally jump in the lava. Lead us to victory, Croaky. Where is the entrance to the dungeon? Oh, Croaky, why would you do this? Get out of there. Oh my gosh, I'm in the lava. Why is this happening? No, Rampage, Rampage. We lost two of our pets. How did that just happen? Croaky just burned. He got turned into frog lava soup. I wonder if our snail lava is able to survive in the lava. Yes, it is. Okay, I probably should have guess that. Also, our other pets seem to be immune to the lava uh, heat somehow. Oh my gosh, no, Rainbow is not. Get out of the lava, Rainbow. This is terrible. Why am I here? Where is this dungeon, ladies and gentlemen? We've been looking around forever. It said that the dungeon was this way, but we literally just went in a massive circle. Where are they hiding the dungeon? Uh, where is it, chicken? You have two seconds to tell me. Rampe, slap him. <laughs> but seriously, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea where this dungeon is, and I don't necessarily want to go around in another loop. Maybe Maybe it's right in front of my face, but I just can't see it. Hot dog, Hot dog what are you what doing? Are you doing? Stop trying to cook yourself. Please get out of water. 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 Dang, or that's not even water. What am I saying? That's lava. We need to get our pets away from the lava. They're cute. They're, they're, they're too cute. They're too darn cute. And they don't understand that they could burn. Everybody go ahead and take, take a, seat. a seat. We're going to do use, uh, uh, but, you know, just, just a little bit of a new, new game, game, game plan, plan here. All right, our brand new snail creature. You are going to take me all the way over here. We're going to see if we can maybe figure out where the lava dungeon is. Down here? Uh, uh, nope, it's not over here. Wait, it looks like there might be a structure up there. Oh, there it is. We actually needed the snail lava pet. Wait a second, guys. Okay, now that we know where it is, I think we can figure out exactly how to get everybody in. Okay, so we're gonna take our snail lava pet over here. And I think I can go ahead and use one of our pets in order to dig through. Let's go dig a hole. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. No, we're not able to do it. This will be risky, ladies and gentlemen, but we're gonna try it. I might lose all of my cute pets. Okay, so here's the game plan, right? We're gonna go over here, and then we're going to quickly go inside of the dungeon. Okay, we're inside of the cavern, and yes, okay, so they all teleported safely to me. Now we can bring all of the pets into the dungeon. Uh, let's try out the volcano dungeon key. It worked. Let's enter. All right, cute pets, listen up. I know you guys are cute and cuddly, and you guys probably don't have massive brains, but that's why I'm in charge. Whatever you do, once you see the orange glow stuff, do not go inside. I know it looks warm, and it looks fresh, and it looks fun, but at the same time, don't do it, it burns. I have no idea if they understood a word I just said. The only way to get through is on our brand new snail lava pet. Okay, looks like the next door is right here. Don't go in the lava! Don't go in the lava! I don't understand. Some of our pets are immune to the lava. What does our dig-a-hole pet even do? I think it actually just shoots things. Oh, no, never mind. Mind. That pale man is shooting the giant pale woman. He is extremely casual about it, and I have no idea why. All right, well, while they're doing that, we should probably go ahead and move along to the deepest part of the dungeon. Get out of the water! This is the lava! Why do I keep calling lava water? Rambe, 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 please stop, please stop, please stop. We lost Harambe in the last episode. I can't afford to lose him again. Please, Harambe, please, 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 please. Harambe, we've lost you one too many times. Please, there you go. There you go, buddy. That's using your giant monkey brain. Why can't Harambe just understand me? Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're just gonna keep making a break for it. I don't even care about- Oh no, Rampe! He died. Why does he keep doing this? I need to make sure I'm feeding the rest of my pets. Hot dog, hot dog. Hot diggity dog, please do not die. All of our pets are taking so much damage. Luckily, I have tons of pet coins and we should be able to revive them, but this is bad. I don't understand why they continually jump in the lava. I think we should hopefully be able to get to the next area of the dungeon without having to worry about any lava. You see, it looks like kind of a straight shot. Get out of here, bald man. That's right, you jump in the lava. You die. You burn to death. And the boy. Hey, lady. Let's do a little bit of a head count. I think everybody is pretty much here. Other than Harambe. And also Croaky and Gypso. Let's get back on our snail molten lava throne. And we should be able to make a straight shot to the last part of the dungeon. Let's do this. Oh, this is it. This is the pet. It's the Sorgon. Why is nobody attacking me? Normally they attack me. Oh, there we go. I spoke way too soon. You did. hi -yah! Yes. Smack the big lady. Smack the big lady. Smack the old skinny man. In the lava, buddy. Ooh, I got it. Look at that. We have the Sorgon egg. Smack you. How's everybody's health looking? It looks like Chuckles needs a little bit of pet food. There you go, Chuckles. There's only one more bandit boy over here. And wait a second. We picked up another egg. We can get two Sorgons. And we also unlocked the Sorgon pet from the black market trader so that we don't have to come back here. We can just go and buy it. All right, my slippery snail, take us all the way out here to victory. Let's go into the pet shop and let's hatch at least one of our Sorgon pets. 
This is going to be our first flying pet. No, 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 no. You get back here, buddy. No escaping. Red mustachio man, we're gonna need to buy lots, lots, lots more pet food. All of my pets decided that they wanted to take a bath in lava today, so I needed to use pretty much an entire stack. This thing is adorable! Leave some name suggestions down below in the comments. Will fade you, you will get nice and big and strong. Yes. There we go. Come on, evolve! Yes! We have a Sorgon! Okay, let's see how this works. So if I press space, oh! Okay, so this thing is an actual dragon pet. And it can literally burn anything. And then if I look up, it'll take off. So now we can actually go to the flying dragon dungeon. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next episode.